From one capital to another, a new take on Governor Gavin Newsom's future political plans. A string of op-eds suggests California's governor could leapfrog Vice President Kamala Harris if President Biden steps down from being the 2024 Democratic presidential nominee. Well, it's anyone's guess, but where are the headlines coming from? We're getting answers with CBS 13's Madison Keevy. Madison? Yeah, it seems like almost a prerequisite for California governors to then take the next step and eye the White House. I mean, there's been a history of this. Most of California's governors since World War II have had some kind of presidential plans. Let's go all the way back to former Governor Earl Warren, a Republican vice presidential candidate in 1948, through, of course, Ronald Reagan or Jerry Brown, who made his own run. But what's up with Newsom, who says he isn't running, but then a new theory has his name in the headlines yet again. My guess is nobody bothered to ask Joe. The latest Gavin Newsom headline asks a question. Will California's governor replace President Biden as the Democrats' presidential nominee? I took that very question to CBS 13's political analyst, Gary Dietrich. And while Newsom personally tamps down the flames, it's clear that others around him are stoking them. Newsom right next to President Biden. That's what we've seen play out during the president's most recent trip to the states. A good setup for what many politicos say is, at the very least, a 2028 campaign start. It's an embarrassment of riches. Uh, and of course, uh, with uh, Governor Newsom at the top, you know, I think that just in general breeds a lot of excitement. When Newsom's in the headlines for the country's top job, Democrats statewide win at least when it comes to fundraiser support. Sacramento Democrats are fully behind the Biden-Harris ticket for 2024, but say Newsom's national tour helps boost the Democratic Party across the country. You know, not only winning the White House matters, but so does winning Congress and the state legislature, city councils, county board of supervisors, and school boards. Let's not forget earlier this year, the Democratic National Committee overhauled the party's presidential nominating calendar to avoid a destructive primary. Now they want to do away with the Iowa and New Hampshire early contest in favor of starting in South Carolina. Oh, by the way, coincidentally, the breakthrough state for Joe Biden last time around. You know, the takeaway from our political analyst there is that this is yet another creative take on what Newsom's plans could be. Still feels like a stretch, though. But those that are buying this say that Biden has until October if he does pull out. All signs point to it being another headline. A lot of time between now and November yeah. of next year. <laughs> and the chatter's been going on for a while. And now the fact that East Coast op-eds are being yes. written, the, the nation is kind of paying closer attention. No press is bad press. And yeah. especially when it's a lot of good press, all mm -hmm. signs point to Newsom winning in this, in this idea. We'll see we'll how see. it plays out. Thanks, Madison.